Hello and welcome to our Oblate morning prayer that's coming today from Anglesey in North Wales and my name is Pauline and I'm delighted that we can continue to accompany one another as a community of faith and hope in prayer. So let us begin our time of prayer together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So before we begin our prayer today let us just Become still for a few moments before the day begins, to be still and to know that you are God. The God who made me, who knows me, who loves me. Help me to be silent and still, and in the silence, to trust in the presence of your spirit within me. My rock, my stronghold, my deepest me. In our scripture reading today, we join the disciples who are waiting on the shore of Lake Galilee for Jesus to rejoin them. And they've been waiting, and still Jesus has not joined them. So, as it's now getting dark, they decide to get into the boat and set off across the lake back home. In the evening, the disciples went down to the shore of the lake and got into a boat to make for Capernaum on the other side of the lake. It was getting dark by now. Jesus had still not rejoined them. The wind was strong and the sea was getting rough. They had rowed three or four miles out into the lake when they saw Jesus walking on the lake and coming towards the boat. This frightened them, but he said, it is I, do not be afraid. They were for taking him into the boat, but in no time it reached the shore at the place they were making for. Imagine the scene. Out in the middle of the lake, it's dark, the wind is strong and the sea is rough. And they're three to four miles distanced from the shore. And now, here is Jesus coming towards them, walking on the water and, quite naturally, the disciples are frightened. Jesus senses their fear and reassures them, It is I, do not be afraid. In his presence, quite remarkably, the boat suddenly arrives where they're going to their destination. In Jesus' presence, the fear and challenge of the situation appear to dissipate and they reach the shore as if with ease. The disciples' experience, as recorded here, I can relate to. When I was praying with this scripture, it took me back to moments in my own life where I had been anxious or challenged by what seemed insurmountable situations. But somehow, amazingly, when I look back, I can see that I reached the shore safely without quite knowing how I got there. There are people who I can think of who being in their presence just being in their presence is encouraging. When someone encourages you, they help you over a threshold you might otherwise never have crossed on your own. And there are times of great uncertainty in every life. And left alone at such a time, one can feel lost and confused. When a friend comes with words of encouragement, Lightness seems to visit you and you begin to feel the way out of the dark. The sense of encouragement you feel from them is not simply their words or gestures, it's rather their whole presence enfolding you and unfolding you. 
There's no judgment, but words of relief and release. Let's pray that we may be people that encourage others whenever we have the opportunity to. And perhaps today, for us to thank someone in our lives who has blessed us by their presence just when we needed it. I'd like to share with you this beautiful book, and you may have a copy or seen a copy, and it's called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. And it's written for any age from eight to over 80. And it's by Charlie Mackesie. And I'd like to just share uh, one or two pages from it. Um, the boy, the mole, the fox and the horse, they're on their wanderings. And on their wanderings, they meet one another on the road. And as they travel together, we sort of peep into their conversation along the way. And I'd like to share just one or two pages. And if we could just make this part of our prayer. Is your glass half empty or half full? Asked the mole. Hmm, well, I think I'm grateful to have a glass, said the boy. Lord, what can I be grateful for today already? And I pray for a spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving. May I be grateful that I have a glass. We don't know about tomorrow, said the horse. All we need to know is that we love each other. Let's just take a moment to think about those people in our lives that we love and who have loved us. And to give thanks for them and to ask for God's blessing on them today. The horse continued, saying, when the dark clouds come, keep going. Lord, we pray for those who we know today are overshadowed by dark clouds. We pray that we can be an encouraging presence to them. When the big things feel out of control, focus on what you love right under your nose. So we thank you, Lord, that we don't travel alone. We thank you for our friends, our family and our community who travel with us. Remember, this storm will pass. We have such a long way to go, sighed the boy. Yes, but look how far we've come, said the horse. So we thank God that we do not travel alone, but with the support of one another, in our communities and we will we pray that we will continue to strengthen one another and be a source of encouragement to others and particularly today we pray lord open our hearts that we may recognize your presence in all our ordinary moments. May we never lose sight of you, our constant companion and loving Lord. May we be encouraging companions as we journey together. Amen. Thank you for joining me for, for morning prayer. Have a good day.
and God bless.